year, all four of us got got. Uh, last week, uh, the crew told us that we had a, a promotional shoot to do after the show, which is kind of typical around here. Uh, in fact, the guys from the promotions department, they came into our meeting earlier in the day. They showed us what they did a few years ago with the NASCAR drivers, where they edited guys like Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Jeff Gordon and Jimmy Johnson into, into movie promos. And uh, so we thought, you know, what the heck, we'll do it. Uh, Penny Marshall, who's been on the show, was going to come in and direct, which we thought was kind of neat. Kevin Frazier from Entertainment Tonight was here, right? Filming. Exactly, right, to cover the whole thing. So we so figured they that, sold it. Yeah, really we well. figured they're stepping up the budget. It was going to be kind of cool. They got us. <laughs> Hi, I'm Penny Marshall. I'm here to do an April Fool's joke by directing these guys, John, Rob, Rodney, and Chris, in these movie parodies. And see how far we could get them to do as a promo bumper thing for if they believe me or not. So I'm gonna try. Well, it's now time to bring Penny to the stage to begin the joke. We started off by exchanging pleasantries, and of course, Sally was already schmoozing. What's my motivation today? You good? I'm you really good. I'm not doing any of this girl stuff. I don't think you're into girl stuff. Good. That's a good go. No. And now let the fun begin. Our first movie scene is from The Karate Kid. Penny, how you doing? Rob Dibble. Hi, Rob. Nice Dibble. to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. So, did you ever see The Karate Kid? Yes, many times. You know that scene where he hurt his left foot? Yeah, and he starts whining like the little girl? Well, if you... He makes that sound. That's is that going to be Chris? Okay, all doing one. We're shooting. As you <laughs> kick, it's this way, yeah. And then do a kick forward, you know? Yeah! And you're a ballet dancer. Yes, now. thank you. At least he has manners. Go. Yay! <laughs> oh, you look like, like a little girl. Gay. Yeah, a little gay. Okay, next person. Wow. <laughs> Whoa! I had to get my ballet. And stop touching your things. I have to. No. <laughs> yeah! Ooh, that is sweet. Okay. Fine. Okay, our acting chops are all warmed up. Now let's move on to the classic show me the money scene from Jerry Maguire. Did you know the human head weighs eight pounds? Yeah, so you just walk the, I'm playing to this camera. You're playing, yeah. He can move over. Yeah, you're just Well, I'm not camera. waiting, just tell me what camera I'm playing. Yeah, but you jump. That's an old family money. Show me yeah. the money. Right. Okay, just on that one line. This is a scene from Jerry Maguire. Quiet backstage. Action, John. Are you ready, Jerry? I'm ready. All right, here it is. Show me the money. Say it. Say Show it me, me, Jerry. The money. No, I want to hear it. Let's go. Show me the money. Show me the money. Louder. Show me the money. You got to yell like. Show me the money. Show me the money. Say you love black men. I love a black man. Say you love black people. I love black people. All right, congratulations. You're still my agent. Okay, and cut. Go. Fine. The producers of Best Damn invited Kevin Frazier from Entertainment Tonight in on the joke. Having him and his crew here helped validate the big shoot. What do you think about some of the things she's having to do so far? Well, the fact that, you know, the old rumor about Penny is she used to take a long time and use so much film. Now, digital world, she's like got us in and out, in and out. Great director. Whoever told me that, boy, when I talk to Warren Beatty, <laughs> liars. <laughs> Penny wasn't wasting her time because she was anxious to direct the next scene, an unforgettable moment from Titanic. And look who they convinced to dress up as Jack. Raindrops with ball. And Rose. Well, that's got a good one on the See, the belly. Yeah, Dips has got an Audi. I wish the dream was Because that was an attractive shot. King of the world. King of the world. Just don't fall and don't let him fall on you. Are you going to be able to stand in those heels on that thing? Yeah. Right. You can get me up there. Ooh, I'm losing a boob. Camera up higher, please. I like this hair, though. It's flowing. At action. Oh, Jack, when I'm with you, I feel like a queen. Take both his, put your, take his, her, his arms and put them on your... It's Who's the like, like that. Like this. Take his arms. Take arm, his arms and put them down. Put him on his waist. Yeah. Okay. Like that. And action. I've been thinking about that kiss for two days, wondering what it was. <laughs> I would look at him a little bit. I've been thinking about that kiss for two days, wondering when it might happen again. Oh, Jack. 
when I'm with you, I feel like a queen. I like that. That would make me the king, of course. Yes, my lord. King of the world. King of the world! King of the world! Give her my hug. It's the hard day's work. Well, Dibs, it's not over yet, because now the producers go for the kill. More drag queen dresses to star in the movie Dream Girl. This is incredible. <laughs> oh, Kevin, what are you doing later? <laughs> oh, yeah, Dibs, this is your second dress, Rob. I'm playing the role of my very, very uh, good buddy, Eddie Murphy. I, uh, I'm, 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 uh, I'm playing a man because I'm a man all the time. <laughs> they like me as the lady. Bitch, get on the corner. Okay. Are you Beyonce or are you Jennifer Hudson? Well, you look at this butt and you tell me who's who. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you were a great sportscaster. That was. <laughs> I just want to know how they found shoes to fit him. They got these got pumps on. Chris, that, why do you yeah. have so much hair in the upper back? Hair. Hair. I'm sorry, but she's Beyonce. You're Jennifer. Everyone. I'm Beyonce. Well, because you got you up and yeah, yeah. 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 Come Did on, you shave yeah. Beyonce? Yeah. Yeah. Why would you do that? Ready once? Let's just take it once. Try to read your line. Ready? Go ahead, John. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for your dream girl. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, go. You start, honey. Every man has his own special dreams and your dream's just about to come true. <laughs> Life's not as bad as it may seem if you open your eyes, what's in front of you? <laughs> Boys will make you happy, yeah. <laughs> Where are your dream girls? <laughs> Where your dream goes to your left, Rodney. Where the dream girls. Where your, your dream, dream girls. girls. Can you read? We're your dream girls. Okay, now watch here as Rodney starts to backpedal like a defensive back. In front of you. Come on, Rodney. Come on, Rodney. I can't do it. I cannot do that. I can't And finally, the best damn producers let us off the hook. I can't do it. I can't do it. It'll be worth your while. I can't do it. Because April Fool's Day. Is it fair to say that they got you? Look at we your like wig! It. Of course! Oh, like you! Like you don't want to. Dibs was hoping yeah, there was more. Well, I saw you. I'm I'm disappointed. I saw you. I was disappointed. I really wanted more. When you were teaching them, I was like, she's teaching us how to work? No, I was going to say, no, they did this step, and then they did um, a dream. I think some of them enjoy being in their dresses, is all I can say. And a couple of them like to wear girls' clothes, but they were, they're good sports and they're good guys. See you Friday, friends. All right, bye. Thanks, man. All right, uh, I'm going home.